Lawmakers on Capitol Hill are working to improve future rollouts of the federal student aid form, most commonly known as the FAFSA. And Washington correspondent Maddie Beer Temple reports on the new bill making its way through Congress. The Department of Education botched its rollout of the free application for federal student aid or FAFSA last year. It helps high schoolers get financial aid for college. FAFSA isn't just a form. It's a path to post-secondary education. Delays and technical errors led to about 430,000 fewer submissions. Now Congress is stepping in. So we passed this bill that I'm sponsoring, the FAFSA Deadline Act, uh, that is going to tell the Department of Education you need to get your act together. California Congressman Kevin Kiley's bill moves up the deadline from January to October for when the Department of Education has to publish the FAFSA. It passed the House Friday almost unanimously. It's a commitment to ensuring that students and parents have access to the resources they need. The Department of Education said in a statement it's, quote, on track to return to a regular launch date of October 1st in 2025. I wish I was confident, but, uh, you know, we've seen them uh, drop the ball so many times now. The bill now heads to the Senate. It is a good idea. Where Virginia Senator Tim Kaine says he hopes it passes quickly. A lot of families have been very inconvenienced, and not just families, but uh, universities. The Education Department says it's confident in this year's FAFSA for the 2025-26 school year, which is now available online, writing, quote, we have a fully functioning site and a form working end to end that has been successfully submitted by more than 10,000 students. In Washington, I'm Maddie Beer Temple.